Let's explore the Omni browser. We'll get what we need to load it by going to uh, Squeak Swicky, pressing search, typing in Omni browser, and looking for the uh, refactoring browser entry. We go to that. We uh, copy all the code there that we need to load the Omni browser. We put that into a workspace, select it, and then we do it and the Omni browser will load. So there's the code for the Omni browser in the bottom of a regular browser. The next time we go for a browser, we will be presented with a menu saying which browser would you like. So we'll choose Omni browser for now, but should we want to go back to other browsers like the original browser, we hit the blue menu there and choose new default browser. We can choose again what we want. Omni browser has nice icons like this lightning for error and this paint box for morph. All these subclasses get this little icon. You can see that there are dots, gray dots for tests and if you run the tests they'll change color to either green or red depending on whether the tests succeeded or not. So we run tests and then we see these tests work and these little dots all go green. Another icon is sigma for subclasses of number and you can see the uh, hierarchy there. Um, for subclasses of string there's the paragraph icon. Um, three dots for collections and the buttons as I'm making this movie here don't actually work. You think to yourself, well what's the point of the Omni browser? Well, it contains the capability of for refactoring, the refactoring browser, and we'll explore that in another video.